for less than three minutes long. In deliberating the prior two areas of the Riverfront Vision Plan, potential new development north of the railroad tracks has been particularly contentious. We've been told that the neighborhood greenway area will be up next, and then the urban core will be the last of the plan's four areas to be implemented. Recall that the Riverfront Vision process was initiated back in 2008 as a result of complaints from residents about a slew of riverfront development projects, especially those over the river within the urban core area, the England condos, River Park Landing condos, the Bornstein condos. One can therefore anticipate that deliberations on implementing the urban core could be the most controversial of all. So can we minimize that impending confrontation? Learning from the recent past, the crux of the controversy came down to disagreement over what we suspect Astoria wants. Merely noting that the plan was written by an inclusive process did not and will not overcome the objections from those who assert that the plan does not reflect what the majority of historians want today. It may be that the Riverfront Vision Plan for the Urban Core is what Astoria wants today, but there's no proof one way or the other. Now, no one wants elected representatives to precede every vote they take by somehow polling their constituents. However, for the highly consequential and controversial issue of new overwater development in the Urban Core, you have the time and the authority to let historians decide this one. The most respected method to gauge the will of your constituents would be to allow them to vote on how they want their elected representatives to represent them. I realize there has always been concern over whether voters would see the big picture and vote wisely. The following is how Thomas Jefferson responded to that concern. Quote, I know of no safe depository for the ultimate power of the society but the people themselves, and if we think them not enlightened enough to exercise their control with their wholesome discretion, the remedy is not to take it from them, but to inform their discretion. End quote. Therefore, I am suggesting we put a non-binding referendum on the ballot of the next regularly scheduled election. Planning Commission with city staff could then draft a proposed zoning ordinance for the urban core based on proof of what your constituents want today. 